Hello again, this is Falkas with the sixth part of the tutorial about how to manage your data transfer cartridge using Weapon Delivery Planner. In this sixth part we'll talk about the MFDs and the same with the MFDs as with the EWS and the other tabs to the right the data for the MFDs are only stored in your callsign.t. So having a first look at the MFD tab you will see that we're looking at my callsign.t at this time it's of course falcas.ini and you'll see that the screen has been divided in uh, five boxes these are five master modes that the F16 has it's the air to ground master mode and uh, air to air master mode a navigation master mode a missile override master mode and a dogfight override master mode You also have seen that uh, the screen is showing actually four MFDs and the first question arises does the F-16 have four or less MFDs? Of course it has at this time only two MFDs. The third and fourth MFD are actually added to the data cartridge in BMS and uh, we might see some use for them in the future. So we'll be only using the first and the second MFD which of course the first MFD is the left MFD and the second MFD is the right MFD. The three buttons at the lower row of the MFD in the middle can be set to show you any function of the MFD as you like. This can be done in the cockpit by selecting another function at that position or they can already be pre-programmed in the data cartridge so after loading the data cartridge you already have those pre-settings for these five master modes. As you see at this time I have nothing programmed here and you don't want to have that because you're going to get blank MFDs in the cockpit. So I added a uh, default setting. This setting is about the same as you probably have used throughout the years with other versions of Falcon. Just by loading up this default setting you will see you get uh, some values already stored here. Just take a look what it's actually showing. For example, we switch to an air to ground mode, then the three middle buttons in the lower row of MFD1, the left MFD, will show the HAD, the middle button will be blank and the right button will show the fire control radar. The boxes on top will actually show you which one will be active when you switch to the air to ground mode and in this case the FCR is selected. For the right MFT in this example we will see weapon, HST and stores management page and the storage management page will be selected when you go to the air-to-ground mode. This can be changed through all your likings and you can actually program this depending on the missions you're going to fly. And Let's see if we can come up with a couple of examples. As an example we'll just pretend to fly a mission with uh, laser guided bombs and we'll start off on the ground with the navigation page. On the navigation page I will want to see of course navigation information and I don't want to see too much on my navigation trip. So I'll blank out these two on the left hand side and I only want to see my radar that I can observe incoming traffic, bogies, bandits during the navigation part. On the right MFD I of course want to see my navigation screen, the HST, and it's also selected when I switch to navigation mode. Maybe I want to have the targeting pod active so I can lock up an air to air target and identify it with the targeting pod. And as an example, I'll just switch uh, the terrain following radar because we might want to go for a low level ingress. So after loading the DTC in the cockpit and I switch to the NAV mode, in my left MFD 
in this example I will see the buttons the first two buttons plank and the right button I'll see the FCR and the FCR is selected and on the right MFT I will see the Tarkning pot, the HST and the train falling radar. When switching to air to ground in this case I do not want to see the HAD I just want to keep it in the FCR mode I also don't want to see the weapon because I was planning to use laser guided bombs so I want to see the targeting pot I want to see the HSD and to switch weapons to storage management page actually a better ID maybe in this case I want to have the targeting pot selected and I want the storage management page set on the other side so I can switch my storage with my left hand while I'm steering with my right hand this is just an example of changing the settings and uh, you can actually make any setup you like so for example this would be my setup for a laser guided bomb attack and I want to save this setting so I can call it up later I'll make a backup and I just give it a good name LGB in this case as already previously said about uh, EWS and all the other tabs do not overwrite files that come with weapon delivery planner because you will throw away some default setting that you might want to use later on I'll store the LGB setting and then you're done so if you want to quickly switch to a uh, air to air mode or an air to ground mode or maybe a seat mode where you're firing harms and you want to have a totally different setup you quickly load up your pre-stored settings and you see that everything is set one extra function on the MFD page is the bullseye on the MFD and when switching this on or off you can see the bullseye actually being positioned at the MFD it's the bullseye cursor location when you're all finished just save the DTC then start up Falcon and you will see all the settings have been applied